Hello. So I was just on the way home from um, a very stressful shopping trip and a good friend of mine uh, texted me and said, because I was complaining about it to her on a text, and she said, go and stick on some worship music and sing your heart out on the way home. And I was like, what a great idea. So I have. And the first thing that I stuck on was this, which is called This I Know. It's a music ministry uh, CD and the first song on it was Before the Throne. Before the throne of God above that one. And um, the second verse, or maybe third, I don't know, um, says, When Satan tempts me to despair. And I was struck by, because we were looking at Romans 1, the first chunk of Romans 1 this morning. And we were thinking about how we sort of tend to fit in with the society around us. Um, and therefore, if we fit in, then we feel at home. And so, should we not, we shouldn't fit in because this isn't our home. And it's living for Jesus that makes us not fit in. And that's, it's like a big circle of, if I don't live for Jesus, then it's easier because I fit in and I don't like ruin any friendships and I don't say anything awkward, anything. But then if I say things awkward and I live for Jesus and I want to tell people about Jesus, then that makes my life really hard and awkward and... Um, <laughs> But when your life is hard and awkward here, there's nothing to cling to, nothing to tempt, be, to tempt you to cling to, um, like as, a, as another idol. Um, and I was thinking about it, and, I, and that, that first line, when Satan tempts me to despair. And I was like, what am I despairing about? Because I'd just been in a shop and I was like, yes, I am despairing. I'm despairing about the ridiculous stress of not having enough stuff in a shop and having to wait for ages. And then the next line is... Uh, and tells me of the guilt within and I was suddenly like oh so you know, I've despaired over something that doesn't matter at all <laughs> and the despair I should feel is about the sin and about my sin and just realise that I I'm living too much for now and that actually the things I should be despairing about is my sin and um putting myself first and things rather than the annoyance of not having things go my way or oh no something's broken and I can't live here anymore or how am I going to fit in this flat and where are we going to live next and what happens if I don't get any money and how am I going to earn some money and what's my business doing and uh, and all that kind of stuff or just being ill but the real despair should be sin and that problem that needs solving um, and the verse goes on, when Satan tempts me to despair and tells me of the guilt within, upward I look and see him there that made an end to all my sin. Um, so upward I look has always been something that I've wanted to put on a product because upward I look just says that song to me, upward I look and see him there. And we're told so often, aren't we, at church to, to look up to God and not to look down at ourselves like this and go, me, 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 all the stuff around me now. To look forward to Jesus, where we're going, and up to God. Um, and I had to pull over and talk about it. Um, I hope that's helpful for someone.